you, you gotta be kidding me! Welcome back to another edition of Dante's Hearthstone Rise of Shadows card review. Now, I'm doing the one and the only Priesty Boys. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am doing Priest card review. The 10 Priest cards released on the new expansion. If you don't already know, I'm doing all of the cards and I'm going through them all. Now I'm at Priest. Check them out uh, on the YouTubes. Either way, I'm going to do constructed rating and I'm going to do uh, arena rating both in one delicious pack and I'm going to do them in candles. So I hope you enjoy that one. Either way, this is the first one. Two mana, evil conscriptor, two, two, death rattle, add a lackey to your hand, uh, value. You get one card that's pretty damn good. Lackeys all have decently powerful effects. So I think this is just a good card. It's not game breaking doesn't do anything spectacular i'll give it three and a half candles in arena i think it's uh slightly better i'm gonna give it four candles in arena i just think it's good solid card and can give you something you need at the end of the day hench clan shade quill death rattle restore five health to your enemy hero this is like a zombie chow on steroids ish um looks pretty interesting i do like the art of the card either way four seven for four mana you can get a four five for four mana this is a four seven and you can give the enemy hero five health i think that death rattle doesn't really mean anything when you're generally i would say when you are a priest you're not rushing down someone's face you're playing sort of the long game right you're playing a little bit more slowly and all that um so i don't think that death rattle even matters honestly i think that's just doesn't really do anything so i think it's actually a pretty good card i think you'll see it uh a lot of times in a lot of decks so yeah i'm gonna say that's a four star in arena that's pretty damn good priest has a hard time staying on the board getting on the board do this you just keep healing it up again you you can play the long game i think it's slightly better in arena four and a half candles it's pretty damn good pretty good I think that's gonna be a weird card, but it is pretty good. Four mana spell on Sleeping Soul. Silence a friendly minion, then summon a copy of it. Now, I'm assuming you summon the silence copy. That'd kind of be kind of weird if you didn't, but you silence the card I just showed before. Well, then you get rid of the bad thing. Now, four mana for a four mana thing? Pretty good, why the hell not? You silence it and I don't know, that just seems like pretty decent value and that's the type of card you'd want to use it on so i think this card will be using constructed a certain you know silence deck i i i liked i used to make a silence giant deck and it was awesome i used the the giant that would freeze every time you would hit and i used the uh, the giant that would damage yourself every time like i used these giants with the terrible cards but silence cards and it was awesome it was a pretty decent deck and i just think that's four stars in arena uh it's interesting in arena now a lot of times silence doesn't really do that much but i mean six if you do like uh i don't know uh, uh <laughs> i forgot the damn name it's a six mana six seven i forgot what his name was ogre something uh well you silence a card that doesn't have a death rattle or whatever and even if it has a be battle cry then You've already used it, so you silence that and you get another copy of it. That's just pretty decent in itself. Uh, just don't do it on a death rattle card because you're going to lose that. So I think it's actually pretty decent in Arena too. I mean, you can fi you're just copying a card. You copy a big minion. I don't know. That seems pretty good to me. You just can't copy every card forever. I don't know. It seems weirdly good, honestly. Next up, we have zero mana, forbidden words. Spend all your mana, destroy a minion with that much attack or less. Here's the thing. I've seen some reviews of other people. They're like, oh, this card's pretty good. I think this card is awful. I don't understand. I might be missing something here. I think this card sucks. I think it's really bad, actually, uh, in Constructed. Um, you spend all your mana. Destroy minions that much. All right. Well They got a magma rager. You don't know what to do. You can't kill it. Well, you, you spend five mana. Well I had a six mana card. I could have played now. I can't play it or Or what? 
I, I just, I don't know. I just don't understand why this card is... Death, Shadow Word Death, Shadow Word Pain. Okay, well this has, this guy has four attack. Well, damn, that kind of sucks. You just don't need this card. How about you have a board that deals with it? I, I just don't like this card. I I don't know, May, maybe it is good. I feel like there's just other cards that are better with this. I'm gonna give it a two. I do think in Arena, uh, it's interesting. I do think in arena it, it's it could be okay maybe I man I just don't like this card I'm not into that card get that card out of my face maybe it, maybe it's okay maybe I don't understand anyways next up we have two mana oh no that's not right what the hell okay here we go we have convincing infiltrator taunt death rattle destroy random enemy minion Five mana, two six. Just destroy a random enemy minion. In a rush deck, this might be bad, but rush deck might not even have more than two hell. So it could be good in that way. And not a rush deck is pretty good. You could resummon it. You can't copy it with that thing because obviously it silences it. I think this is a pretty decent card in constructed and pretty decent card everywhere in arena i i don't know constructed i think it's a three in arena i think it's a four might be four and a half but uh, the stats are kind of weird right in arenas it's sure you get a kill on something but arena has a lot less good minions so it's like not as amazing but uh yeah we'll, we'll see how that card does shadowy figure Transform into a 2-2 copy of a friendly death rattle minion. So you transform into the 2-2 copy of that minion we just showed you. Some other death rattle minions that can be pretty good that I gotta see in order to really see if this is any good. Is this any good? You get the death rattle of something. And it's a 2-2. Two -two. That could be good. I mean, it's pretty cheap. But yet the minion has to be down. You can get value off of it. Is it good? It can be good. I just don't see how you build a deck around this specifically. That's what I'm worried about. And that's why I think it's a two. I think it's a two because of that. I just don't see building a deck around this or building a deck that sort of synergizes around this as well. That's what kind of worries me here, to be honest. And uh, in arena, I think it's a three and a half. I mean, you just get one death rattle and you play this. Two, two for two is not great, but it's not the worst. So I think it's it's when you get value, it's pretty damn good. And obviously when you don't, it, it's not great, but it's not like gonna destroy you. I don't think. So I'm uh, you know I'm gonna boost that up to four. I, I think it's pretty good in arena. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. Next up we have mass resurrection. Ooh, is this good? <sighs> so they had the spell stone. It was seven mana. It summoned two friendly minions that died. And then you could upgrade it with three spells, summon three, and then upgrade it with three spells, summon four. Now, I use that card a lot because I use the sort of taunt wall OTK priest a lot. And it worked there. But you have to have the good minions to make it work. Now, this is nine minion, and you always get three. Is that good? Man, I don't know. This is rough. Nine man is pretty damn expensive. That's what I have a problem with. I don't know. I just... Because you can get bad minions and... Can you sustain enough to not die? Maybe? To get good value? Maybe there's a deck out there? That's what I'm, I'm having problems with. So I'm going to give it two and a half. I, I can't... I can't see it though. I just don't know. And I think it's... Uh, one in arena uh, in arena. This is awful. It's just it's too slow and in arena You need to have early game. The card is not gonna be good Now we have Madame Lazul Madame Lazul battle cry discover a copy of a card in your opponent's hand I mean this just sort of shows what they have in their hand and constructed. That's pretty damn good You get to see what they have and you discover it and then you have it So three man three two and constructed 
not going to destroy you depends on who you go to go against you should be able to sustain yourself build a deck around that i think it's pretty good and constructed for now you get value in arena you get a three two body which isn't great for three mana but it's still value and you still sort you know you get to see what's in their hand i'm gonna give it a ah, i'll give it three and a half i think just because you get the value if you didn't keep the card and you just looked it'd be terrible but because you get the value i think it's it's decent yeah it's, it's decent in arena I, I i can't go too crazy with it right and then of course we have katrina katrina muerte at the end of your turn summon a friendly minion that died this game any friendly minion there are some crazy combos that can happen with this thing and that's that's something you need to play around with i think to really fully realize how things are going to work eight mana pretty steep it's like a weird kalthazad that's not as good but also at better it's because it's any minion you don't need minions to die that turn damn this is a card that's very strange how do you decipher Ugh. How do you decipher? I mean, maybe there is a, a big... I don't know, because then you can bring this back with Resurrect and then you keep resurrecting and then you could resurrect this minion. And then when you do that, you resurrect another and you just keep resurrecting forever. So it's like, there's gotta be a combo with this that is gross, that just seemingly goes on forever. And that's what I'm looking at. And I, I think there is a combo out there. I think there will be a combo out there. But will that be strong enough? I'm going to give it three and a half. I, I, I don't know. I, I think it's going to be interesting. And in Arena, it is a random card. And a lot of your cards will probably suck. But it's still value every turn. So if you can get one, you can get two off of this. Pretty damn good. So I'm going to give it the same. I think it's just good like it could be crazy it could be terrible Ooh, that is tough that is very tough and then because my thing messed up we have lazul's scheme zero mana card which is i mean generally you can't sleep on those but lazul's scheme reduce the attack of an enemy minion by one until your next turn upgrades each turn so you can just reduce it to nonsense negative a billion right and uh then you can steal it or you can crush it with that other spell so like the other spell you can use you can use two spells that are zero and you can crush it and it's interesting there's ways to use this which i love i love it so i think this card is going to be interestingly powerful in slower type of decks i think think so if, if that's i think this can work i think this is gonna be used i'm gonna give this three and a half i think this will be used in in a slower control type of matchup this card is pretty awesome i think and i think in arena it's uh half a candle a very sad slumpy scrumpy scan candle here but yeah ugh I can see this being interesting and constructed if you could hold out. If you could hold out a while, yeah. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm going through all the classes. This was Priest. Rise of Shadows is coming soon. Hope you enjoyed this one. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think, and I will be back.